Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to see how to come with some formulas for some crazy looking integrals. And to do so, we need to begin with an integral that we know. And let me just pick this one right here. The integral 1 over 1 plus x squared is the inverse tangent of x. And notice I did not put down plus c because the constant will be bothering us, so let's not worry about that. And secondly, before we continue, I just want to make a claim that this is not super rigorous, but somehow it works. Anyway, we'll see. Here's the deal. Here is the 1 plus x squared, but we know this is not always 1, right? So this is not like a complete version. In fact, we have a better version for this integral. It is the integral of 1 over some number a, and that's matched with the square. So we put down a squared plus x squared like this. So you are really talking about the sum of two squares. And then the right-hand side becomes 1 over a times the inverse tangent of x over a, like this. Okay, so this is good. This is the pretty nice formula. In fact, I've done a video on this right here. If you haven't seen that, be sure you guys go check that out. Well, well what we are going to do is that, notice, the moment I replace the 1 with a squared, is technically by saying we are introducing a parameter, we have all the a's now, and we can pick a to be whatever we want, any past the a value. So it can be like 16, square root of 2, whatever you want, right? We can also differentiate this with respect to a. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. Let's put down d, dA, right here. And we'll see. First of all, when you differentiate an integral, you can invite the differentiation into the integral, and it becomes the integral, but you change that to a partial derivative because in here you have two variables, a and x. So change that to partial with respect to a, and focus on this function, and let me write it as, let me just put on in green, a squared plus x squared, to the negative first power like this, and this is the inside, and we have the dx still. And on the right-hand side, I shall also write this down as the partial derivative, because once again, here we have two variables. So let me do that, partial with respect to a of 1 over a times the inverse tangent. And let me write this down as x times 1 over a like that. You guys will see why later on. Now, let's get the differentiation in action. We still have the integral though, the, differenti the differentiation is only happens inside. So you put on the integral, differentiating this, of course you use your little power rule, bring this to the front, minus 1, we can do this in your head, up to you. But this is going to be negative, and perhaps I'll write everything red. Negative parentheses, and this is a squared plus x squared, raised to the negative t2 power, and don't forget the chain rule, you multiply by the derivative inside, with respect to a. x squared is a constant in this case, so the derivative a squared with respect to a, you multiply by 2a right here. Don't forget you still have the dx though, because the differentiation only happened inside. Now on the right hand side, we have to differentiate a product. So let's get the product rule ready, I will keep the first function as how it is, Differentiating this, I will do 1 over 1 plus this thing in a parentheses. So I'll just write down parentheses, and I will write down x over a like this, square. But don't forget the chain rule again. We are going to look at the inside and multiply by the derivative of this with respect to a. That means x right here is just a constant. This is a constant multiple, you can write it down first. And differentiating 1 over a, with respect to a, you get negative 1 over a squared, like that. And to continue, we can add the second function, which is the inverse tangent. And that's the reason why I want to break down to x times 1 over a, so we can differentiate. But of course, usually we can just write this x over a. And then we multiply by the derivative of the first function, which is negative 1 over a squared, again, like that. So now, as you can see, here, you have a crazier integral, like the function inside is crazier, and let's clean things up, because in fact we know the answer on the right-hand side. We'll also clean things up on the right-hand side as well. Let's see, here we have the integral, we have negative 2a on the top, over that in the denominator, a squared plus x squared, and then square dx. And let's see, 
this right here, it's like saying, okay, you can get the common denominator, which is a square over a square for the 1, like that. And this is technically a square and then x square right here, right? So in fact, this, this, and that cancel because the denominator is just a square. So all in all, on the top, you get negative x over this a, but once again, the denominator a square cancel here with this, because you just happen to look at that. The denominator a square down here times the a square on the side like this, they cancel out. This factor here becomes just a square plus x square like that. Right, and then for this part right here, we have minus, and then we have the 1 over a square times the inverse tangent of x over a like this. Of course, you see you have an indefinite integral on the left hand side, you should have a good constant. But you can clean up a little bit more if you would like. You can divide everything by negative 2 if you would like. I think I will to make it cleaner. So let's multiply everybody by negative 1 over 2. So that this and that will cancel. Well, I should just do like this, negative 1 over 2 right here. <laughs> so on the left hand side, I get the integral of a over a squared plus x squared over 2 like this, and then dx of course. Now, whenever you have an integral in this form, where a is just a constant, you can get this into, well, let's see, negative, negative being a positive, and we have x on the top over 2a, parentheses, a squared plus x squared, like that. And here we have negative, negative become positive, 1 over 2a squared, and then we have the inverse tangent of x over a, like this. And in the end, of course, you know, this is a... Uh, indefinite integral, so you should have a plus c right here. Alright, so to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure when you do the differentiation under the integral sign, namely like this rule. Was it okay to do that uh, with uh, indefinite integral? Because if you just technically I should put on plus c, plus c, right? But when you differentiate that plus c, that becomes zero. And in the end, when you have this integral, you should still have the plus c. So I'm not I wasn't sure how to like uh, you know, argue about the plus c, but hopefully this you know, satisfies you guys to a certain degree. As I said, this is not so rigorous, and perhaps to make you guys study happier, I will box this in purple for you guys, like that. And before we go, we can do a quick example on the side right here. So here is uh, just an example. You can pick A to be like say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever you want, up to you. But I'll just pick 1. So if A is 1, I have 1 square, which is 1 plus x square, and then square like this, dx of course. Now this is pretty uh, bizarre integral, right? Of course you can do tricks up whatever you want. And in fact, if you want to get to the third power, you can do this again, but differentiate it again. Uh, up to you, I'll leave that to you. But anyway. I will just look at this and plug in 1 into all that. So here I get x over, well, let me just write it down, x over 2 times that is just 1, I mean 2. So it's 2 times 1 plus x squared. It was 1 squared, but it's the same as 1. And then you add it with 1 over 2 times 1 squared, which is just 2. And then inverse tangent of x over 1, which is just x. Like that, and put a plus c and be happy. This right here will be the answer for the integral. And Wolfram Alpha confirms with that as well. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this. Maybe you can try with a different approach and come up with some other crazy formulas for this kind of crazy integrals. But at the moment, that's it. Yeah, and please subscribe to my channel. Yeah.